Has any anything progressed in the intimacy department? And I don't mean kissing on the mouth because we should be all doing that. Well, you guys should at least be doing that. No pressure? I mean, I've seen how you rub his head, just saying. Yeah. Is the head a turn on for you now? It's, it's better, for sure. It's there. It is, it's there. It's nice, it's smooth. Are we hitting any new bases? Um, not really. What do you think? You don't know? Are you awake? Like, we have a little bit of connection. Like, the chemistry's there a little bit. I think it's, I think it's there, honestly. And I think, you know, for me... It's like I'm ready to make out. I've definitely been giving Kirsten grace and patience, but sometimes they just run thin. And I don't know if I can move forward in my life knowing that, you know, I put forth all of the effort, you know, to break down my walls, to be vulnerable, to work on things that I know I need to work on in our marriage, and the same energy is not given. Seems like a sore subject. Well, and I find like over communication is always better than under communication. You gotta be ready to be vulnerable because this is a crazy situation. It's not normal. And that comes to, all of that comes with like learning each other and having that time. You know, we're just growing and you it's know. It's taking some time. It's been a month, guys. It's yeah, yeah month. That's, it's I true. think that's what yeah. you just have to like take a step back and just constantly remind yourself like how crazy this yes. is, because it's crazy. It is. Yeah. When yeah. I think the common denominator with all of us is like grace. Mm -hmm. Like all of us have different um, areas that we can consistently be extending grace and growing through, so. Well, well, here's to grace and growth right yeah. here. Grace, grace, grace and growth. Here's to grace and growth. Night. What a night. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm glad we can laugh now. I was a little stressed out at the table. It just, for me, I guess, every time when we get together, it's like something I always hit another level. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we talk about these things, we're working towards, you know, getting to the next level, and then it's like, boom. But what was it that I said that made you feel like it's a setback in our marriage? You know, when you be like, you know, when you was like, they was like, well, how's the intimacy level or the chemistry level? You was like, I just feel like it's really little. I'm like, what in the hell? I just really want to know, like, what Kirsten needs because it seemed like every time I'm trying or get to, you know, the next level, it's like when we get in front of everybody else, I'm left blindsided because I'm like, like, damn, she couldn't tell me this at the house? Like, she couldn't tell me when we get home later? She can't tell me how she honestly feel? So I check in with you sometimes, and I'm like, Shaquille, how do you feel right now? Like, you don't, you have to check in with me too and say, Kirsten, how do you feel right now? If I'm not telling you how I feel when I ask you how you're feeling. And that's when it goes back to the communication level. So you're not gonna know how I feel about an intimacy level between you and I if you're not asking me that question. You just can't come out and tell me? That's what I'm saying. If I don't come out and tell you, then you should ask. You want me? I ask you how you feel. Like, yeah, you should Kirsten, ask me I'm, how I feel. I always ask you, like, you know, how, how, how we doing, you know? When have you asked me that? OK, let's see. Kirsten, Renee, how do you feel about our marriage right now? I definitely feel like we need to work on communication. Like, this is horrible right now. And I really feel like the intimacy level could be better. At the beginning, I had to grow and say like, okay, I can be patient enough and wait till it happens. But now it's like, it's on Kirsten time. Kirsten wanted to happen when she wanted to happen. But at the beginning, you had that guard up and you did not want that to happen at all. You barely wanted me to touch you. But now that we're there and I'm starting to open up to you and I'm letting those walls but down. But that's on your like, time. I know, but, but, but you don't you don't look at it from my spectrum to say, okay, okay even explain to me. It, it seemed like in your life that it's always been on your time of what you wanted. And for me, like, no, nah, that, that ain't gonna fly. It's not all about cursing. It's not, and I tell you that too. It's about the both of us, but this is not gonna help our relationship. This is not gonna help our marriage grow. 
I don't know if I want to be with somebody who just continues to have a guard up with somebody who actually want to be in this marriage with them.